thousand dollars savings bond reserve will get a second five hundred dollars in class 43 just completed first purple went to walker mcdermott from Atlantic, iowa second purple to isa downing from preston iowa third purple to heath downing from preston iowa Fourth purple, Peyton Gorby from Lancaster County. Fifth purple to Marcus Hinckley of Wyndham, Minnesota. The blue ribbons were as follows. McKenzie Beatty from Sumner, Nebraska, first blue. Second blue to Tucker Wyatt from Gothenburg, Nebraska. Third blue to Felicia Schneider from Cozad. Fourth blue to Morgan Ball from Tiffin, Iowa. And fifth blue to Brock Hendricks from Air, Nebraska. Three red ribbons, first red ribbon to Megan Ball from Tiffin, Iowa, second red to Caleb Clement from Soldier, Iowa, and third red to Kendler Eschen from North Liberty, Iowa. That's the results of class 43. In the ring now are the three first place winners and the three second place winners from our previous classes competing for the champion Peters here at this year's Victoria. First call, class one, Peter Knapp Showmanship. First call, class one, Peter Knapp Showmanship. With the Wheeler County exhibitors of Peter Caps, please come to the announcer stand. The three exhibitors from Wheeler County, please come to the announcer stand.
I think when we look at these three steers, and actually these six steers we've got out here, uh, we're certainly not disappointed in a single bit. Uh, this, these three individuals really, really are nice. Uh, they just uh, are so many of uh, combined so much of what we're looking for today in the beef cattle industry in terms of having rib and power. And along with uh, the rib and the power still have some balance and some high and some soundness. I think all three of these steers do that really quite nicely. And uh, my congratulations to all these competitors. Uh, the steer coming out of the first class, uh, really like Tim in class, and I do here as well. Just a huge hip kind of a cat. You get behind him, you really square out from the hooks of his cans, really wide at the base of his skeleton, really tremendous twisted out all the way through. Well, and the best not this, he maybe opens himself up just a bit more into the center part of the shoulder. But boy, that's a really, really neat cat. That's the kind of cat that's been watching him grow and develop on feet, watching him pull the fill in with his forehead and back into his play. Uh, just here, it's really, really going to be a powerful, powerful individual. Red Steers coming, Red Steer coming out of our second class there. Uh, that young lady's hanging on to an awful nice one. When we look at these cattle, uh, we study them from the ground out, and their foot, their bone, and their structure, and their design. You add in some body, and some ribs, and some shape, and some dimension. Along with the muscularity that we have, and all the nice, sound, attractive package, uh, you really, really come together to be a really competitive uh, individual here this afternoon. I just really like his completeness, I like his design, I like his balance, I like his symmetry, I like the bone, and the school work, just everything about him really comes together nice for me here today. Black steer coming out of the third class, tremendously powerful. Uh, that's a steer you get right behind him, he's super, super thick from the substance pants. Tremendous amount of dimension through the center part of his body. He's big, ribbed, uh, and he carries that nice rib shape, uh, not only through his forehead, the center rib, but back into his flank. As you watch that steer in motion, I just love the way it gets around the ring. He really has some freedom and ease to his movement. He's a bit more extended than a couple of other cats we've got out here, and I've worked that to his advantage. He's got a bit more length right down the center part of his spine, a bit more extended up into his shoulder third. There's a couple of the ones out here. And you combine that with the muscularity and the mass and the volume, I think the two is extremely competitive. So as I say, I think it's three individuals. I don't think you can go wrong with any one of them. You know, picking these series here now, it's kind of like picking your favorite Christmas present without being able to open the package in terms of trying to, trying to think in your mind uh, how they're going to grow and how they're going to develop and how they're going to turn out as fast here. And I know all three of these uh, young folks are certainly going to have a lot of fun as this next year goes and progresses. I've really, really got three nice ones. So if you would please, that piece of time, uh, if you want to us one more big round of applause, I'll go out and pick us off a couple of champions. Thanks so much. Our judge, Cody Schraub from Marion, South Dakota, will now select the champion feeder steer this year's Exarvin. And the champion goes to Walker McDermott from Cass County, Iowa. He's winner of Class 3 steers, and the last class, Class 43 steers. This steer weighs 720 pounds, 42 inches high. Walker is from Atlantic, Iowa. He will receive a thousand dollars savings bond from the Heights of Exarvin and our show sponsors, which includes Farina Animal Nutrition and the Farmers National Company. The reserve champion comes out of class 42, the second class of steers. It's a steer owned by Paige Hesky. Paige is